Hello everyone. We will continue the topic abstract class. So far in the previous videos, we created a global abstract class using SC24 transaction code. We created subclasses from that abstract class using SC24 only then we called inside the program but we created those things global and we called inside the program now what we will do same to same requirement we will achieve with the help of local classes now means we will create a local abstract class. We will create the local subclasses from the abstract class. We will not use SC24 transaction code. Everything we will write in SC38 transaction code. And whatever we will do, that will be locally there itself. It will not be reused in any other programs. <laughs> So we will go for the same to same requirement with the help of local classes. Now, I will go to SC38 transaction code. I will give some name to the program. I will give some title to the program. I will give some different name. I'll click on the create button to display the sales order slash billing document details. Our requirement is totally same. I will choose the type as executable program. I will save it as a local object. I will take a input in the program. And I will take two radio buttons. I will take another radio button also, which belongs to same radio button group. I'll check the syntax and activate the program. I will pass the selection text. This is my sales document. This is my billing document. And this is my input. Requirement is totally same. Now we will learn how to create a lo local abstract class. If the steps of global abstract class is clear, it is very easy to write those things in the form of code. If you remember when we created a abstract class using SC24, we gave some name to the class. I will give some name to the class. Suppose class abstract underscore class definition. Now, after that, what we did in SC24 from the drop down, we choose abstract. How we can make a abstract class? I will choose the word abstract. End class. Now, after that, what we did, we took a instance method inside this class and we took one importing and four exporting parameters. Same to same thing we will do. Public section, 
because we want to go for a public method. How I can go for instance method? The keyword is methods display. We have one importing and four exporting parameters. Importing evbeln type vbeln underscore va exporting cer dat cerzet cer num evb type now after that what we did when we created a global abstract class, we converted this method to abstract method. How we converted? We simply checkbox, we simply selected this checkbox abstract. How I can make this method abstract? I will use the keyword abstract. I will check the syntax and I will activate this particular program. This is the way how we created a, previously we created a global abstract class. Now we created a abstract class locally in this program. It is a local class, local abstract class, because I cannot use anywhere. I cannot use in any other program. The scope is in this particular program itself. Now, after that, what we did, we created a subclass using this abstract class. This is what we did. We created a subclass using this abstract class. This is my subclass which we created. So I will go for the same way. Class. Suppose my first subclass is sales. Definition. Inheriting from which particular class? Abstract underscore class. End class. Now, if you remember what we did after that, when we created a subclass using this particular abstract class, if I will show you, when we created the subclass using this particular abstract class, we all got an error at that time that you have to redefine the method same thing is applicable here also your method is a abstract method whenever you want to write the logic in the subclasses you have to convert it to non-abstract it means you have to go for redefining of the method how we will redefine methods what is our method name display our method is display redefi so we redefined the method display in your subclass after that what we did after that what we did we simply wrote a logic in this particular method to fetch data from vpa same thing we will do we will write class sales implementation and we will write the logic. What is our method name? Method is display and method and we will write the logic in this method to fetch data from VBAK table. Select 
single er dat er zdt er num vp type from vp ak into i will give the parameters p er dat p er zdt p er num pvp and i will pass the wear condition wear i'll give the space here also wear pv vb eln is equal to pvp i will check the syntax okay i'll just make this set method as public i forgot to put public section and i will check the syntax now after that what we did in sc24 we created a second subclass also and we wrote the logic to fetch data from vp rk table same to same thing we will do i will rather than writing it again and again we will simply change the name and what is our second class now suppose our second class name is billing now here i will fetch data from vp rk i will follow the best naming conventions so that i'll check the sequence of the columns in vp rk table this is also not wrong but we have to follow some best practices vb type is coming first so i'll write vb type first okay then we have er num er zdt er dat er num er zdt or er dat okay. we just followed the sequence and here i will change it will go to pvb type it will go to per num it will go to per zdet and it will go to per dat i'll check the syntax and i will okay it is class billing implementation so we created the second subclass also using our abstract class or parent class same to same thing you did in sc24 now we are doing everything in sc38 transaction code we are creating everything local so rest part we will continue in the next video thank you